Residents living in and around Latabiokoshi in Accra risk catching respiratory diseases following two days of continuous smoke that has engulfed the area. The smoke from a refuse dump near the Abosokain bound side of the main road rain entered into shops and homes. Martin Isiodudate interacted with some affected residents. We had several calls about the smoke that had engulfed this part of Accra. Now, if you watch, going this way is towards Kolebu Teaching Hospital. That is where the bikes are coming from, where the cars are coming from. And behind us is the Abosokai spare parts area. Now, the entire traffic light area has been engulfed in thick smoke. And so every vehicle has had to turn on there are fog lights or they will be unable to see the next few meters ahead of them. The smoke, we are told, is emanating from this side of the area where there, is, there are heaps of rubbish. And there is a likelihood that some of the rubbish had been set on fire ostensibly to burn it, as we always do here in Ghana, to burn the rubbish. But that has gone overboard and is producing heavy smoke. You provide laundry services to other people. But a higher power, I know they are merged, man, a holiday. But a nadia, a higher power, because of entabiency, you will cry over and smoke at you, man, yet, and you cry. For me, it disturbs me a lot. Visibility is very difficult. Even breathing is very difficult. Because living in this kind of smoke is very difficult. It's very likely to cause any, any health problem. Yeah, yeah, somebody man away, Riano. Your friend, or Baha. Now we still stay on this because my colleague Grace Hamuasare is at the Kolebu site and we understand that the fire service has been there. Grace, can you hear me? Yes, Miriam, I can. Okay, what can you report? Has the situation gotten better? Miriam, from what I am seeing currently, I can say the situation hasn't gotten any better. Right. Residents are still complaining about the infections the smoke can bring them. And mm. even hawkers who, who do their business around the area have all gone back home because people can't stop to buy from them and they themselves cannot even stand there to sell their work or to sell their products. And so it, it's a very worrying situation here at the Kolebu landfill site. Right, so while... Mm. Please go ahead. Yeah, but while we were here, we had information that the fire service was coming to the place to help put the situation under control. We saw them, but what is surprising, Miriam, is the fact that they came with a fire tender, one right. fire tender. And when, when they arrived and they saw the severity of the fire or how big the place is and the fact that the entire place or the entire landfill site was on fire, mm. they had to send their fire tender back because they couldn't control the situation. So we, we spoke with the member of parliament for the area who is Oko Van der Poy, and he tells us that they didn't know the severity of the fire. And so they have to send the fire tender back. But they are looking at alternatives like using stands or any other substance that can be able to, to dose the, 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 the fire. If even they want to look at using stands, then they might need like more than 100 um, portions of right. bottles of stands to be able to dose the fire because it's a really big place which is on fire. Now that's interesting. If when you say the fire tender went back, it means this is a situation that the fire service cannot handle or the truck is going handle. back so they can come back, you know, reinforced. What do you mean it by is, that? Actually, yeah, from, from what we saw and from what they told us, the fire tenders they have cannot handle the kind of fire that is ongoing there. There are lots of combustible materials like plastic, like paper and like fabric there. And then there's a bigger portion of the landfill site is covered by sawdust. And we know how fast and how much sawdust can burn. Mm. And so it keeps burning, it is burning, and the fact and that didn't even start working or didn't even start operating. They had to send it back because they realized they can't use it to control the fire. 
Right, Grace, thank you very much uh, for the update. Rather worrying situation at the Kolibutishin uh, Hospital area where residents are dealing with, you know, plumes of smoke in that area.